All right, everybody. I just want to show you the coyotes. I'm getting ready to sell them tomorrow. And uh, I got them all hung up here and all thawed out and uh, brushed out, shook. And I just got them hanging here. And I just thought, man, this looks so cool. I got to I gotta show a video of this. And I'm going to try to get some video tomorrow when I'm selling them. And I'll, I'll put on it here where some of the prices. But some of these are just... I mean, they're all beautiful coyotes. I mean, I don't have a bad one in the bunch. I was so fortunate this year. Catch 31 coyotes, only one had shoulder mange. This one here, freaking giant. I mean, this one here next to it is a little bit smaller, but I mean, this one's a giant. This is a big one. That's a big coyote, just beautiful, beautiful coyotes underneath. I mean, just well furred. Man, I'm just, just, happy i mean look at how beautiful that one is i mean they're just they're all that way i mean some of them are a little darker like i said and, and i do have one over here and i remember when i caught this one and, and it's in the video this was when i during deer season this red one here i don't know if they're gonna like it probably not and if they don't want to give me anything for it i mean i think it's beautiful if they don't want to give me anything for it i'll bring it home and tan it it's it's just a beautiful coyote. I had one other one here, I think. This one. This one here is a little bit red too, I guess. But uh, not bad. I mean, just some big, big coyotes. Some of these are huge. I mean, just all of them. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at these two. <laughs> My God. I mean, those two are just freaking huge coyotes. Just beautiful. I mean, just beautiful. I'm so fortunate to have had the season I that I had. So fortunate for all of you to come with me and and be able to see this. And I I'm just in awe when I stand here and look at what I did. I mean I I just I I didn't even it it still hasn't registered with me. But when I started taking them out of the freezer to hang them up, and then I see them all together like this, it's just like where did they all come from? You know. And and another tip I want to give you: you see them all hanging on my garage railings here if you're going to do that it's probably a good idea to unplug it because i just got home from work a little bit ago and out of habit i pulled up with my jeep and i pushed the button and you know you never know there's there's another button over there on the wall but uh you know if you got wife or girlfriend or kids or something might hit a button on accident it's a good idea just to unplug it first i did that that was the very first thing i did before i started hanging them up just because i knew i'd probably screw up and i almost did because i came home from work like i said i pulled in the driveway and i hit the button and i was like thank god i had that unplugged so just a little tip there for you like i said i'll probably try to get some uh let me get the coyotes in the background there that's just beautiful i love them i mean that's just i am so happy i mean this season was was such a oh it was it was just an epic season and it was, it just made me so happy but i'm gonna try to get some footage selling them tomorrow and uh and then I, I will let you know how much i got for them but thanks for watching all my trapping videos if you haven't watched them yet go back and watch them because some of them are some really good videos and uh like i said these coyotes just, i couldn't be happier i mean look at look at this i mean it's like three curtains Three curtains of coyotes hanging here is what it looks like when you come out in the garage. Just some some huge ones, some some medium ones. Some there's a couple that are a little bit small, but variations in colors. But they're all just beautiful coyotes. Stay tuned. I'll let you know what I get for them. Thanks for watching. All right, everybody, getting ready to take the furs to, uh, to sell them. Coyotes. I got them. I got them down from the. Garage door, I got it plugged back in, got it open. A little warning here, I don't know what's going to happen when I open this, because I took them down just a little bit ago, you know, a couple hours ago when I kept them in the fridge to keep them nice and cool, because it's warmed up. It's like almost 60 degrees here in Illinois right now. So, I'm going to open this, and they're going to come out. You're going to see what 30 coyotes looks like <laughs> coming out of This is my beer fridge, so don't worry. I don't put my food in here. This is just my beer fridge. So, here's what 30 coyotes look like. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to put them in this tote. Just, they're all just beautiful. I mean, every one of them. 
I, mean, I, I don't. I, I brushed them out one last time when I took them down. I mean, that one's huge. It's a big coyote. Just beautiful coyotes. I can't. I, I, I feel bad getting, you know, selling them actually. I'm, I'm, I've almost kind of grown an attachment to them, if you will. But uh, they gotta go. And I'm just hoping I get a decent price for them. Yeah, that's, that's what 30 coyotes look like. I didn't know if they'd fit in here. Oh. Unreal. That's a lot of coyotes. That's just... Like I said, there, there's not a bad one in the bunch. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh. Got the uh, got the crutch slash uh, release pole holding the hatch up. Uh. Little weight there. Wish me luck. Alright everybody, getting ready to drop off my heights here. Got Gronenwald Fur and Wool Company out of Forest, Illinois here. Got some guys just dropped off some hides. So I'm the next in line. I'll pull up there and I'll uh, start unloading my coyotes. Stay tuned. I got lucky, I got 31 this year. These are all trapped. And uh, only one had shoulder mites. I threw him all away. There's a couple here that are still kind of rough. Yeah. But I only had one.
So I ate of them back with me. I figured they wouldn't take the reds, but uh, so here's what I got. Five dollars a piece for 22. It's terrible. I hope that focuses in. But I got the red ones back. This one's a red one. This one's a red one. You know, but the rest of them, there's eight of them in here. They're all nice coyotes. And uh, so I'm going to tan them for me and maybe sell them. I'll sell them that way. The, the red ones I'll probably keep for me. But uh, and then future may do giveaways or something. There's there's a guy I work with that wants two of them for that price, so I'll sell them to him, and then the rest I'll tan for me, and, and either do giveaways or sell them that way. Pretty disappointing. I mean, all that work for five dollars a piece on the good ones. I don't know, and that's as high as they were gonna go. But uh. Stay with me. I mean, I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to have to shift gears next year. I mean, I'm still going to boil the skulls. I'll sell them. I'll sell them for more and more I sold the hides for. But uh, stay with me, and uh, next year we'll see. You know, I'm still going to be trapping them. There's no doubt about that. I just don't know if I'll be skinning them and selling them because for that price, it's not even worth selling them. But uh, like I said, very disappointed. But, you know, I love doing it. I love catching coyotes. I love bringing them bringing you the, the videos, the trapping videos. So I'll put these back in the freezer and I'm getting ready to head to California. Thanks for watching. Stay with me and uh, good luck with everything.